Hi there guys, so Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, the press conference has now happened and you can see that both of them are kind of friends. They say things about each other, they say this and that, there is a back and forth but you can see there's not all that much animosity there. I think they both actually like each other and I think probably they are friends. But not only that, Anthony Joshua's name was brought up as well. Tyson Fury was asked about his sparring with Anthony Joshua and whether it will still happen. This is what Tyson Fury had to say in response to that. They offered hot air as usual. I accepted, they haven't turned up. Take what you want from it, that's it. Joshua's nothing like Wilder, but I'd like to bring him over and give him a good hiding anyway. But they're not going to come, let's face it. They're not going to come over and get beat up in sparring. It was just a stupid offer at a stupid time. Wasn't thinking, I accepted straight away. Me being me, and that was it. I don't read too much into it. He ain't coming, simple as. He ain't got the bollocks to turn up and spar, end of. And then asked about Anthony Joshua's performance over Andy Ruiz Jr. in Saudi Arabia, this was his response also. I don't think it was a great performance, I thought it was hit and run shithouse style. Every time he stood still, Andy rocked him to his boots, but it was what it was. He got the decision, fair play, on to the next one. He's definitely not in the same category as me and Deontay Wilder, he's already been knocked out, he's out of it, way out of it, he needs to prove himself again. And I don't mean proving it by hitting and running from a little fat guy all over the ring. I mean prove yourself on a high level. It was a three horse race. He got eliminated. It's still a two horse race. Two horses and there's only going to be one standing after this fight. You've got two undefeated heavyweights. One six foot seven and one six foot nine. One good looking, one ugly as anything. And that's it. Someone's O has got to go. And it ain't gonna be mine. It's gonna be him. So that is Tyson Fury's statement in response to questions whether Anthony Joshua was going to go over and spar him. It seems like the sparring is not going to happen. Now Anthony Joshua did say he would follow up on his offer and go over and help Tyson Fury prepare for Deontay Wilder. And I would imagine it's still open for Anthony Joshua. I mean Tyson Fury has only just begun camp so he's only just started sparring probably. So there is no reason why Anthony Joshua cannot still go over. He's not going to go over and be Tyson Fury's chief sparring partner anyway. He hasn't got the time. He has commercial obligations and his next fight to deal with as well. He has two mandatories in Alexander Usyk and Kubrat Pulev. So Anthony Joshua just doesn't have the time to go over and be a chief sparring partner to Tyson Fury. So Tyson Fury is doing what Tyson Fury always does. He's getting a bit wound up because Anthony Joshua offered him and then hasn't followed up on it yet. I mean... As I said, there is still time for Anthony Joshua to go over and spar Tyson Fury. And I think it will be beneficial for both of them. I think that Tyson Fury gets great sparring in preparation for his rematch with Deontay Wilder. And Anthony Joshua gets some good sparring in as well with Tyson Fury. So that he can gauge him, see what level he is on, and maybe pick up a few things along the way as well. Now, we all know what Tyson Fury is like. One minute he can be liking a guy, next minute he can be hating them. And to be honest, I don't know whether Tyson Fury really knows whether he likes Anthony Joshua or not. Previously, he said it was a good performance over Andy Ruiz Jr., said congratulations on the fight, but now he is saying it's not a good performance. Now, let's be real, it was a good performance. He outboxed Andy Ruiz Jr. and absolutely schooled him. It was a boxing masterclass. Hit and don't get hit, and that jab was brilliant. His footwork was brilliant as well. So you can take nothing away from Anthony Joshua. That was more convincing and better than a knockout in my opinion, because he just schooled Andy Ruiz Jr., especially considering what happened in the previous fight. So that was a great win from Anthony Joshua. And I believe Tyson Fury also believes the same thing. It's just because Anthony Joshua is yet to follow up on his sparring offer with Tyson Fury. That is why Tyson Fury is saying these things about Anthony Joshua. I don't think he necessarily believes it. I mean, look at Dylan White. He constantly has a back and forth with Dylan White. Saying this, saying that. Saying that Dylan White, if he were to fight Tyson Fury, it would be a guaranteed loss. Next minute, he's saying that Dylan White had a great performance over Marius Vac. And saying to anyone who is putting Dylan White down about his win over Marius Vac and the manner of the victory, that they should go in there and fight Marius Vac. Also, Dylan White had that situation with UCAD, which Tyson Fury was in his defense and in his corner with as well, because Tyson Fury previously went through the same thing. I think that Tyson Fury will never kick someone when they're down, but he will criticize them when they are at the top. He will criticize them when they are on top, because that is his rival then. And Anthony Joshua is clearly Tyson Fury's rival. No matter what Tyson Fury says, he's going to have to fight Anthony Joshua in order to be considered the best of his era. And I think deep down he knows that. I think these back and forths are just a part of the story. I don't think that Tyson Fury really has any animosity towards Dylan White, Anthony Joshua, and definitely not Deontay Wilder. I think he actually likes Deontay Wilder because there was a back and forth where he was saying he's going to stop Deontay Wilder in two rounds. Deontay Wilder's a bum, another bear bum in the shower. And Deontay Wilder said he's going to put Tyson Fury's lights out, knock him through the ropes WWE style. Yet 
When they go together and they have a face to face, they're shaking hands and you can see by their body language, they are quite friendly with each other. There is not much animosity there and I think they like each other. I mean, during that press conference, there was a few nerves in there. I mean, you could see it, especially when they stood up. They didn't get too close to one another. They gave each other their space and neither one was willing to step in the center. Neither one wanted to engage. And I think that's down to the manner of the last fight. Tyson Fury was dropped twice, so he knows that Deontay Wilder has that power. And also, I think that Deontay Wilder knows that Tyson Fury possesses a bit of pop in his punches as well. And he knows that Tyson Fury is his boogeyman. He knows that Tyson Fury is the only man ever to taste his power and keep getting back up and probably still win the fight because let's be real, Tyson Fury won that fight. But obviously the rematch is going to be completely different. Tyson Fury cannot get hit too many times with that right hand because that right hand is dynamite. And Tyson Fury needs to avoid it at all costs. Obviously Tyson Fury said he's going to stand in the middle of the ring and trade with Deontay Wilder. He's not going to do that because that's playing to Deontay Wilder's strengths. Deontay Wilder needs someone to fight with him because all he needs is one punch. He can be getting battered from pillar to post, but he needs to land that punch. He can take a few punches himself. I think to be honest, too many will put him over, but he can take a few punches. He proven that in the first Tyson Fury fight and the Lewis Ortiz fight as well, but too many will put him over, but he needs to land one punch. He doesn't need an accumulation. He needs one and Tyson Fury needs to be wary of that. So standing in the center of the ring, trading with him is Deontay Wilder's game. Tyson Fury ain't gonna do that. That is why it would be great for Tyson Fury to get Anthony Joshua into camp and spar him because I still believe Anthony Joshua will do that but I don't know whether Tyson Fury will still be open to it. I don't know whether Tyson Fury will get his back up and just say nope I don't want Anthony Joshua in camp with me which would be a mistake because Anthony Joshua would give him great preparation for Deontay Wilder because I believe that Anthony Joshua is a better polished version of Deontay Wilder. He has the same kind of punching power and he can box as well. Now obviously that makes him a better fighter than Deontay Wilder so how can you get better sparring than the current unified heavyweight world champion, Anthony Joshua? So I believe that Tyson Fury should still remain open for that if Anthony Joshua does turn up in camp and spar Tyson Fury. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Tyson Fury saying that Anthony Joshua has not yet gone into sparring with him and perhaps it's not going to happen now. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click your thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.